Song, I would like yep. to ask you a question. Mm. The contribution period 12 to 24 months determined by EIS, does it include my provision period? Now, this is a very subjective question because some employment contracts like provision period I give to you, but you cannot subscribe to EPF and so so yet until you are confirmed. Now, that depends on the employment contract whether, whether they will start contributing to EIS when you start employment with them, regardless of provision period. So if the contract states that, okay, when I start this work with you, definitely already start EIS, then yes. Now, if the EIS does not start, now that means no.